Hello guys, let me explain to you today how you can geotag your service points for the waste collection point or you may call it customer collection point. It all depends on you. In AWM waste management, Asan ERP waste management, we call it service point. It is basically the point from where you are actually going to collect your waste. To go to the master in service points, there are two to three ways uh, through which you can actually geotag it. One is that, for example, if you are creating a new service point, you can give it a name, I'm just telling you about how to create service points. You can give it a particular frequency, let's say weekly, and what days you collect it, like that. Uh, which asset type you want to connect it. But let's come to the main point of this video, is geotagging. So one is that you can directly put letter long over here, if you already have the information about it. Right. The second way is that you can search the location here. Let's say I'll select Dubai Mall. I'll click Dubai Mall, it will automatically take its lat long and the exact geotagging location. Third thing is that you can also move around it. For example, this is not the exact point from where the waste will be collected. You can put the exact one and according the lat long will be changed. So that is one way. However, it could be a lengthy process if you are not doing it from the starting. The other way to geotag your points is come to service points and here all the service points will be listed out. Now, as you can see, this is one of the service point. If you go to the right, then there is a button like capture location. So what you will need to do, you go to that particular location. For example, if you reach this particular location, developer garage, then you just click on capture location and this will be automatically captured in our system. Now, how you can do is that uh, since you will be having different routes, different drivers working on different service points, you can ask different service, I mean, your driver to when they go to the particular location, they need to click this button after going to that location for that particular point. So within a day you will be able to cover all the service points because whosoever covering they must be waiting over there you know for some time. So at that point of time they just need to click. So within a day or two you will be able to geotag all your service points. That is the way. Now what is the use of this? So the use of this is like you know there are multiple ways to uh, you know track so if the waste has been collected from the, that place or not. So one way is that you QR code that place and uh, you ask your driver to go over there and scan it. Yeah, you can do it. We have that option in our system. The other option is that the RFID tagging, you put RFID tag over here and uh, uh, you know, uh, we have the RFID reader, the system goes over there and it will scan it. The third thing is the NFC tag. So if you have NFC tag, you can put the NFC tags over there and uh, the driver can actually scan it. Just I mean, uh, going very near to it because the NFC tags have very minimum frequency. Now the, but all these things are little troublesome for some people because the drivers are not so educated and sometimes they forget. So the best way to do it is through the geotagging. No, once you have geotagged the thing, what will happen? Let's say I'll go to this particular route. I'll show you the things over here. So as you can see, these are the points which has been geotagged. I hope you are able to see all this. So as you can see, you know the red ones. Red ones are those from where the waste has not been collected as you can see it is pending. The green ones from where the waste has been collected and if you are able to see over here this is the uh, like vehicle you know which is green in color. So this uh, vehicle will turn red if it is not moving for maybe 5 or 10 minutes. If it is keep it is moving regularly then it will stay green. Now how we have done this green and red that depends on certain algorithm. Now that algorithm depends on your uh, company how you want to do for example, what we have done over here in this particular application that if this vehicle moves maybe 20 meter near this, uh, you know, uh, this service point, then it is assumed that this the waste has been collected. So this way, this is basically done. So if it is moved nearby, then the it will turn green. Otherwise, it will stay red. This is how you can actually do it. And th this complete process is automated. You need not to do anything over here. So you can use this way if you are having some trouble because this is all be captured and the reports will be taken all automatically. Thank you for this.